The Bloodline story is once again approaching another very interesting point, so we'll see all the new theories there. We'll also check out what AJ Lee is saying, Jay Uso, and more. Starting things off with the latest developments for the Bloodline storyline, let's revisit some of the events of Bad Blood because some new information has come out that does change the perspective of a few major things. Obviously, the first major thing was the return of Jimmy Uso. Jimmy made his first WWE appearance in nearly six months to come to the aid of Roman Reigns. Jimmy reuniting with Roman was expected and easy to do within the story because Jimmy was already loyal to Roman for the back half of 2023 and the start of 2024. So Roman didn't really have to win Jimmy's loyalty and trust back because he already had that from Jimmy prior to April. So all Jimmy had to do was pop up and reunite with Roman and that's exactly what they did. Jimmy took out the new members of the bloodline, perfect revenge for how Solo took him out back in April, and Jimmy went into the ring and put his hands together to acknowledge Roman Reigns as the real tribal chief. Roman and Jimmy came together with a big hug. That was a big moment for Roman's side of the story, because that was the moment of him officially getting his first family soldier back. So just a very huge moment there for Roman Reigns and the original bloodline group. Another side interesting note is Jimmy's new t-shirt that takes a shot at this new bloodline while also being remixed version of the Usos old shirt. The Usos shirt from back in the day used to read, We the Ones, and now in Jimmy's new shirt it reads, They Not the Ones, which of course is referring to Solo's new group. So a nice little play of words there and spin off to one of the original bloodline shirts. Another key thing to note about this moment is how Jimmy is appearing to be a good influence to Roman Reigns. While Jimmy and Roman were walking out to the ring, Solo and his gang were setting up another attack on Cody Rhodes. Roman doesn't really seem interested in going back to help Cody, telling Jimmy that it was just a one-time thing, and he agreed to help Cody only for a match. But Jimmy keeps pushing Roman telling him that he gave Cody his word, and Roman eventually leads Jimmy to the ring to save Cody Rhodes. So that was a nice character moment for Roman Reigns, to show that the original self-centered tribal chief is still in there, but he's slowly changing and learning to do better. After the save, Roman picks up the WWE title and respectfully places it in Cody's hands. And this moment got interrupted by The Rock's return, the Rock didn't do much, he just went in there, did his hand gesture on his neck, and turned around and left. What makes The Rock's return so intriguing is the completely ambiguous way that it went down. Was that neck gesture directed towards Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, or maybe even the both of them together? It's already a well-known fact that The Rock absolutely hates Cody Rhodes for getting in the way of his WWE title match with Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. But to now see Roman Reigns being all buddy-buddy with Cody Rhodes just has to make The Rock hate Roman just as much for quite literally going against the family. But the new addition to this entire situation comes from some fan-recorded footage from the crowd. Solo Sokoa and his bloodline were standing in the crowd during The Rock's return, and in some of those fan-recorded videos with Solo standing three feet in front of them, Solo can clearly be heard telling Jacob Fatu that this is all part of his plan. So that's a key part of the story that some fans at home didn't really get to see a part of the main show. Only fans who saw this fan recorded video online are aware that Solo even said that. But similar to The Rock's return and everything The Rock said on Instagram Live right after, Solo's comments are just as cryptic and unclear. Solo could be referring to the idea that maybe his plan was for Roman and Cody to pair up with each other only to lure The Rock to return and potentially take out Roman Reigns for him. Maybe that was the trap Solo was setting this whole entire time. Get Roman to become friendly with Cody, only so that an irate Rock can come back, take out Roman, and leave Solo as the uncontested tribal chief. That could be the one version of a plan from Solo Sokoa. And the other version of the plan could be that Solo and The Rock are already working together, and they've been in contact for months setting this up. Like we said in the previous breakdown, that makes sense that since Rock and Solo are both heels, they should be on the same side of the family. But what pokes holes in this theory was some of the things that The Rock said on his Instagram live session. He said that everything that has happened in the last six months is complete BS. Now Roman just got back barely two months ago, so for The Rock to take a shot at the events that happened over the last six months, that makes it sound sort of like a shot at Solo Sokoa. 
So that's why things are very confusing right now with The Rock, because where does he stand at? Even with the bad blood return, The Rock is quite literally standing alone. He's not standing with Solo's group, he's not standing with Roman's group, so there's still so much we need to hear from The Rock to understand where in the world he's at right now with these current events. Maybe Solo's plan could also be to win The Rock over throughout a certain period of time. Maybe The Rock truly isn't a fan of what Solo Sokoa is doing, but maybe they can bond over their hatred for Roman Reigns and come together on the same side. Pretty much exactly what we saw just earlier in the year. Roman and The Rock weren't exactly on the same side, but after Cody took some shots at the Bloodlines family, The Rock and Roman bonded together over their hatred for Cody Rhodes. So maybe we see the same scenario play out, but with The Rock and Solo now coming together and coming after Roman for betraying the family. Not only is The Rock a wild card in this story, but Jey Uso is as well. Unlike the situation with Jimmy, if Roman wants Jey back, he's going to have to win him over and earn back all that loyalty and trust that he lost from Jey. The interesting thing there is that Jey Uso did in fact react to Roman and Jimmy's reunion with each other from bad blood. Jey Uso took to his Instagram story to repost a clip of the Bloodline reunion, and his only remarks about the clip was one single shocked face emoji. So technically we got a reaction out of Jay, but just like the rest of things that happen right now with the Bloodline, it was very vague. It doesn't tell us exactly if Jay's happy or sad about the reunion, and just raises even more questions about what Jay truly thinks about everything that's happening. But one thing the Instagram story does confirm is that Jay Uso is watching, and he's paying attention to what's happening at least. AJ Lee and the idea of her returning to the wrestling ring is something that's popping up in the headlines every other day now, and it's once again back in the news after a pretty funny reaction AJ had on Twitter. AJ made an appearance at the LA Comic Con to promote her new comic book. During the meet and greet session, a fan brought a Divas title, and AJ posed with her old title and posted it on Instagram. The picture made its way to Twitter where a fan told AJ that she doesn't age at all. That's when Bailey responded with a funny response, saying that she hears the wrestling ring is good for wrinkles and aging. Cora Jade and Liv Morgan quoted Bailey's tweet, saying that they heard the same thing as well, all trying to convince AJ to come back to the ring. AJ responded by thanking all of them for their peer pressure. So it once again seems like not only are the fans looking forward to another AJ WWE appearance, but even the company's biggest stars like Bailey, Liv Morgan, and Cora Jade are all publicly trying to convince AJ to run the ropes just a few more times. So hopefully the desire comes to AJ one of these days, so that the peer pressure from the fans and other superstars can come to an end. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.